you guys, after the last The Men Who Go to Goat Tournaments video, I told you I would be adjusting this deck and showing it off to you. Uh, I didn't ever do that, and the reason why is because I was waiting for the next GOAT tournament so I could, you know, win that tournament or at least place before showing you this deck, but I didn't end up going to that last GOAT tournament because it turns out you need a credit card to rent a car. So it didn't matter that I had MetaMats funding my trip, I couldn't rent a car because I don't carry a credit card. And then when I found that out, uh, all the buses, uh, you know, to Texas from Tulsa had already left. So I didn't get to go to that last uh, GOAT tournament, that's why there was not a Men Who Go to GOAT tournaments too, because, yeah, I will be going to the next one though, better planning, right? All of our rides down to Texas bailed, so I got a hold of Metamats, you know, to uh, sponsor the trip, and uh, I couldn't make it down to Texas, so uh, we'll, better luck for the next tournament, we'll, we'll get it done for the next tournaments. But um, I also uh, promised Jinzo and Tonic that I would be sending him a deck profile for his uh, GOAT decks around the world series, so I'm going to be sending him this, so there will be an edited version of this deck profile for his channel probably th without this intro part <laughs> um, and uh, you guys can go ahead and uh, check out Jinzo and Tonic's channel I will of course have the link to his channel pinned down in the comment section he does nothing but goat content but um, let's get right into this deck profile guys uh, starting with the explanation um, this started off as a beast down deck Okay. If you guys want more information on goat formats, what's legal, what's not legal, you know, research into the topic, this, that, the other, go to goatformat.com. Um, that's what I use for reference. You can also go to old forums if you really want to do some digging. But long story short, guys, Xerion Universe is not goat. Therefore, I had to change um, Beast down because um, if Xerion Universe is in goat format, you just play three of it in every aggro deck and you just never lose flat out it's it's ridiculous so without Xerion universe there's a gap there's a there it actually uh, makes it more fair for non aggro decks it really does because um, having that 1900 defense 1800 attack that could get over goat tokens that could get over any face down and uh, could take a blow from Parshath and defense you know stuff like that um, and being a dark you know so you could banish it from the graveyard for a chaos monster it's just yeah, it's it's a card that's too good to be true. Um, the format is definitely more technical, more skillful, and everything without it. So I wanted to create a new Beast Down style aggro deck um, that could also beat Tiger Stun. Um, the reason why I don't like Tiger Stun is because Wang Hu, for one, is only 1700 attack. You can't play Mystic Swordsman with Wang Hu because uh, Mystic Swordsman will blow itself up. Mystic Swordsman is better against a Gravekeeper Spy because um, Blade Knight is ineffective against Spy. And a uh, Blade Knight can clog. There's a lot of different reasons why I don't like uh, Tiger Stun. Plus, uh, playing a three, um, you know, Judgment and a Skill Drain and all that stuff, you will drain your life points and you will lose due to the low, li low life points, especially against other aggro decks, which is part of the theory in this deck, taking advantage of Tiger Stun playing a Solemn Judgment and stuff to just let them kill themselves and you're playing more monsters and you're playing bigger monsters. I mean, uh, you, you don't even care about BLS or anything. I mean, if you play this deck right, you don't really, you don't care about much. So once again, I wanted to create a better aggro deck that could not only beat Tiger Stun, be better than Tiger Stun, but still be able to beat Chaos and of course Goats and anything else consistently because you want to win, right? You want to create the best deck in Goats. That's the point of Goat format at this point because we know all the cards. <laughs> I mean, we know the whole card pool. Um, so, I'm going to be explaining this deck profile, my theories behind each card, why I chose each card, and why I call this deck BB&J, Better Beatdown with Jars. Another name I came up for this deck was Blindly Loyal Beatdown, but um, let's get started with this deck profile, guys. Three, Blindly Loyal Goblin. So, the theory behind this card is that it cannot be souped, and it's 1800 attack. So, it's big on attack, cannot be souped because it has 1500 defense, and control of this card cannot switch. And it's a warrior, so it's Rota Searchable. You want to start with this monster because you don't have to set a dust behind it to protect it, so you don't fear Snatch Steal. If they're playing Monarchs, you just have an auto win, and you also have an auto win if they're playing regular goats. I have beat goat players just with one of these bad boys. Flat out, or two of them. And, and, and the reason why is because, like, um, a lot of people will play Ashura Priest and stuff to kill the goats, and Ashura Priest will stay off the field, so you don't really care about Thousand Eyes Restrict. Imagine not caring if they have goat tokens or Thousand Eyes out and being able to summon anyways. It is fantastic. I mean, because if they have the goats out, right, or if they, like, you know, battle phase goats and you kill a goat, and even if they have the meta, and this is your only monster, you don't care. You just don't care. Um, and, and let's just say they um, have Souk and the meta, okay? They're gonna have to Souk this, and then meta and suck this up with Thousand Eyes, and the Thousand Eyes is gonna have zero attack. So it puts them behind, and they just, yeah. Um, this card is the card, in my opinion. Like, uh, it, it is the best standalone monster. Once again, it's nice having a, a starter monster, like a DD Assailant or, or other type monster that you don't have to set a dust behind. It just 
stays. Your dust you use to like in phase their back row so you can just dig into them. And I play three dust in this deck, spoiler alert. Dust is just too good. Um, three Mystic Swordsman, okay? The reason why is because I'm not playing Wang Hu in this deck, and Mystic Swordsman is a way better card than uh, Blade Knight. And if you're not playing Wang Hu, why aren't you playing Mystic Swordsman? Um, Gravekeeper Spy is a pain in the dick. 2k defense is a pain in the dick. Like, I started playing, like, Smash. I was, like, I'm siding Smashing Ground. I was maining Smashing Ground for a long time because of Spy and, uh, and the Chaos Monsters and stuff like that. Um, not to mention, uh, if, if they are being cheeky and playing, like, DD Assailant or anything, just, like, smash, smash it. Just instantly get rid of it. But, um, three Mystic Swordsman. It gets rid of anything. Anything. And it's Rota Searchable. Anything. <laughs> and it can't even be, like, bottomless. <laughs> like, you know, all the, any of that crap. Um, so, the, the, the worst that happens is it gets Sakuid or Mirror Force, but you got them the waste of Saku. Um, and you have so many other flip killers in this deck, you don't care if it dies, you want this to be Saku bait, that's what I'm saying. Um, you guys are gonna see the spells I'm playing and be like, what the hell, bro? Um, but more flip killers, I do play two Blade Knight. Um, the reason why is because um, I want to open two flip killers every hand, every hand. Um, I want to open up at least one. Ideally, most hands you wanna open up a two. This deck does that. Um, does it efficiently and that's what the second blade knights for I had one blade knight second blade knight really like mathematically like started to round it out um, And the uh, blade knight um, getting to that 2k attack really helps having a warrior searchable 2k attack like a, a warrior like a road searchable uh, Berserker essentially that kills flips is fantastic um, Only two though because it will clog it will clog especially because I'm playing a higher monster count than a typical um, Tiger stun decks and then the last two warriors warrior lady and exile force warrior lady gets rid of literally anything um, including uh, Sangan which Sangan can be a pain in the dick as you all know and then um, Exiled Force I use it on flip, <laughs> flips a lot but you can also use it on anything but like if Exiled Force was at three I'd be playing three of this and I wouldn't be playing um, I don't know this Mystic Swordsman trash <laughs> let's put it that way like uh, Exiled Force is just like it's it's probably the best warrior it, I mean it's a one and it even gets under skill drain because it like tributes itself it's, it's the best card you guys are gonna think I'm crazy for this next one a generic mummy, okay? So once again, it's got the same, the same stats as a blind little goblin. Um, I cut the water engine because I got tired of Abyss Soldier like st staying in my hand. Like I would, st it, it would be, st it would be stuck in my hand a lot because I wouldn't have a water for it, and I would just like if I, and I would eventually like begrudgingly summon it all the time just to have a monster and you know that they would want to get rid of it because it's Abyss Soldier. And I just got so sick of that. I'm like, you know, if, if Abyss Soldier is sitting in my hand, I would rather it be Regenerating Mummy. And I hate losing to a uh, Delinquent Duo. I hate losing the Duo, okay? Like, this lets you never lose to Duo. And I also play a Serpent. So like, you you have like all this Duo proofing. And plus, um, Chaos players like to play card destruction these days. Um, and you just plus off their card destruction. It's, it's fantastic, big brain stuff. And then the last two monsters of the deck, uh, Breaker and Sangan, because that's pretty self-explanatory. Sangan searches basically the whole deck. It'll search, you know, all your Mystic Swordsmen, it'll search your um, Exile, it'll search your Warrior Lady, and it'll search your Serpent. Um, Rounds out the deck. I mean, Sangan, I like to keep on the board and just keep stabbing at my opponent. It's fantastic. Breaker. A breaker um, is very advantageous in this deck because I'm playing Compulse. I'm playing three Compulse. And, like, it's, it's amazing going, like, okay, um, a Breaker effect back row, and it's a Dust, and then I'll have a Compulse back here, and I'll Compulse the Breaker, and it's like normal stuff back out or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's really good. Um, it, like, and you get, you just get, like, a lot of uh, advantage with Compulse and Breaker. Um, it's, it's one of my favorite combos in the deck but uh, moving on here uh, two rota to round out the monsters so bring it up to uh, 18 monsters technically you know because you know rota search and then uh draw cards uh pot of greed graceful charity you guys are gonna be like where's your delinquent duo i had to cut delinquent duo for room i got tired of paying a thousand life points and i got tired of helping out chaos decks you guys be like what the fuck you cut I got tired of helping out chaos decks okay i don't i don't like paying life points i don't like helping out um a deck that i want to beat Long, that, that's all you should have to know, okay? Plus, this card is way better, all right? Mind control. People forget this can, this can take a face down, all right? You take, a, you take down their face down spy even, flip it, they don't get the effect. You really like to take their face and Dekoichis and Dark Mimics and all that stuff so you can get their effects. Yeah, you can take their Dekoichis, flip it, draw, and just go in on them, okay? This card is the card. People, like, this is why I didn't want to show this deck. I was like, uh, Mind Control, me and Brady, and he's in the room with me right now. Me and Brady tested this card so much. Brady's my camera guy. We tested this card so much, we were just like, this is the card. As soon as, like, that, that, after that last tournament, I got my ass kicked so bad, I was like, no more Solemn Judgment, no more this and that. I 
took what I learned from that last tournament, applied it to this deck profile, and it's, I, I wouldn't change anything. I love, love, love playing this deck. Like, it, it, some cards we change, but we change them right back. Um, mind control is is a staple now not only for flips but of course you could take their chaos monsters and like banish make them banish themselves this was also kind of like a replacement for smashing ground because of that because this has dual use it could take a flip or get rid of a chaos monster you see so you weren't reliant on knock or smashing ground you got one card that'll out both i don't know why i didn't think of it earlier seriously mind control at three in an aggro deck i don't know why no one else hasn't thought of this anyways yeah, forcing mirror force and stuff too, exactly. So you can like mind control their stuff, their monster and have it in an attack position. And if they have a mirror force and they want to get rid of your blindly loyal, they're going to have to use it on their monster. Even though their monster can't attack under mind control, it's still in attack position. That's right. And that's exactly why I wanted you in here for stuff like that that I forgot. <laughs> Anyways, um, Snatch Steel. Um, Snatch Steel is one of the best spells in the game because if you know what you're doing, it's a plus one every single time. Every single time. Um, last spell, MST. You guys will be like, why aren't you playing Heavy Storm? Because good players never set two anyways. Like, we've talked about this before. MST is a better card. And, like, honestly, I like three Dust Tornado. I love in phasing with Dust Tornado and getting their back row and staying ahead in advantage. Especially, people forget about Dust Other Effect to set another card. Always use that effect, okay? In particular for Compulses and Jars. Always use the, use this for compulses and jars because you can like have a jar and a dust set, right? And have another jar in hand, dust their back row, and then have like double jar and stuff like just stupid crap like that. And if they and if they heavy you, you just go plus because you go jar jar. I love opening up jar greed. You want to open up like blindly loyal, any flip killer, at least one of them, um, a jar of greed and a dust tornado it's just it's unfair it's unfair um and that's another thing about jar of greed that i like if for whatever reason if you don't get a flip out for uh, between the rota and everything else you're gonna draw it or you're gonna be able at the bare minimum compulse it if you know it's a faith or something just compulse that bitch uh two stack Retsu armor because um this deck needed some defense um went through a lot of different cards even played like scapegoats in this in this deck at one point um the scapegoats cl clogs with blade knights um you guys are also going to ask about book of moon to combo with a uh, mystic swordsman i like compulse better I, I like monsters being off the board this is an aggressive deck i don't want those monsters to be on the board i don't want them face down i want them gone i want your life points to zero that's all it comes down to um Sakuretsu armor like um, one of these could be a torrential uh, just because uh, I don't like scapegoats and I don't like uh, too many uh, gravekeeper spies. You want to kill spy with a swordsman if you can, ideally, because uh, or uh, exiled force or warrior lady. But um, Sakuretsu armor will also get them if they switch them to attack and stuff. Uh, some chaos players will. But um, ring of destruction and mirror, or I mean, I guess you can do it this way. Um, mirror force is better Sakuretsu armor, obviously. It gets rid of I mean anything. Ring of Destruction's probably I mean it's one of the best traps. I mean it's chainable, burns you and your opponent, gets rid of a problem. Um, I like it a lot. If Ring was at three, I'd probably play three of it. I like having um, chainable cards. I really like having all chainable cards. The only non-chainable cards are like my defensive cards, and that's fine. You know, um, having I just like having the defense because. Um, it's also nice um, not fearing your Mystic Swordsman dying because he is so little on attack and backing him up with a Sakuretsu armor, um, stuff like that is really nice. Backing up a, a blindly little goblin with a Sakuretsu armor if, if someone is a beast down player is also very nice. Um, you know, backing up um, a, a blindly little goblin with a Sakuretsu armor for fear of breaker, you know, stuff like that. Um, uh, because they're gonna have to breaker that Saku and then that, you know, and it's not gonna be high enough attack to get over the blindly loyal. Um, yeah, Sakuretsu Armor is just, uh, it, it's a card that you have to play because there's not a whole lot of other better cards. And that's really all it comes down to. Um, I, I really do miss Heavy Storm sometimes just because I, I liked pro setting Heavy with Jars first turn. That was just disgusting. <laughs> Especially if you drew like three Jars and a Heavy. And if they Heavy you, you're like, okay, draw, 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 and you get Heavy my Heavy, whatever. <laughs> like, I don't care. Um, yeah, that's the only thing that I would try to add, though, is probably a heavy storm just to win harder, and that and that's it. And just uh, sometimes uh, you have to smart play, and or just like kind of dive ball men, uh, you know. But yeah, that's the only thing I'll change is heavy storm just to be able to avoid that. But mind control, guys, mind control. 
I don't I once again I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier I I don't know why the stuff like this will happen in Yu-Gi-Oh and I'm just like do I even know how to play <laughs> like, I, I don't know why I didn't think of this card earlier taking the Dequichis fates mimics um, um, a merchant anything of a chaos deck and of a goat deck or a flip-flop deck you know pac-man anything like that like it's, it's just so advantageous and, and the double use of being able to get rid of a chaos monster Fantastic stuff. Uh, mind control is the card. I mean, even though you have to, even though the monster can't attack, and even though you give the monster back to them, I don't give a fuck. Your life points hit zero before mine do. I also didn't want to show this deck profile because once people um, start figuring out you're playing Jar of Greed, they're a little more aggressive with their spell trap destruction. Um, so they might actually snag your Sakuretsu armor, you know, like blind pop your Sakuretsu armor, your Mirror Force or something like that. But at the same time though, if they're that, that dumb, they're gonna hit like your Jar more often and make you plus more often. But then again, like uh, the, best, the best thing about Jar is game one when they don't know you're playing it and they blind MST it, they heavy it, and you're just like draw, draw. And every time that happens, guys, I win. There has not been a game where that has happened where I've lost. I've kept track in my head. Like, Jar of Greed, there's a reason why I keep, like, sometimes I'll cut it, you know, because I need to. But I try to play it in, in goat decks, at least at two. And you'll see um, top uh, deck profiles, top goat deck profiles, they're starting to play Jar of Greed. Um, shout out to Sam. Sam thought of Jar of Greed before anybody. Shout out to Brady for helping me uh, test mind control. And uh, shout out to James for hosting the great goat tournaments, you know, down in Texas for me to go down and be able to test this crap. All right, guys, so the side deck is pretty straightforward. I like consistency in my decks. That's why I play aggro, you know, beast down, um, you know, just beat down decks and goats. And the first places because I don't like bricking with chaos monsters, thunder dragons, metas or anything. I like uh, beating you and your bricky ass shit. I don't like playing monarchs and you know having too many monarchs in hand uh, to you know not be able to summon anything. I don't like any of that. I don't like clogginess in my goat decks or in my decks uh, period. So I always try to play a warrior engine um, in my uh, goat decks and uh, honestly like the mind control being able to take their decoichi so you're taking their consistency and adding it to your deck. Oh it's so good. But um, um, the side deck though three kaiku you guys would be like wait 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 chaos killer you know but like why don't you why don't you play main decking the kaiku because this is souk food it's 1800 attack but he's a thousand no not even a thousand defense he's 700 defense yeah see like he's souk food that's why i don't main him um i try to main all monsters that can't be souked like the, if you notice like the main the six main monsters that you want to summon and beat down with are 1800 1500 um I, I just don't like Tsukiyomi. Like, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I like Tsukiyomi. I like, I mean, I, I, I played it in you know previous uh, you know incarnations of this deck, but um, I don't like my monsters getting eaten up by Tsukiyomi. <laughs> Tsukiyomi is a good card, guys. Um, three Smashing Ground. Um, so if you think they're gonna put in Decree. Or if you're playing against um, a beast down deck, uh, I don't know if you're playing against burn even that plays like uh, anything that plays a big shield gardener, um, play this because uh, you'll, you're gonna win. Or like I said earlier, this used to be in the main deck because of Gravekeeper Spy, but then I just started getting better and didn't need to <laughs> didn't need to main deck it. But um, yeah, you can you can main deck this actually. Uh, me and Brady built a, a more pure beast down deck where this is still main decked. Um, I would say uh, you know what? I'm just gonna give it away. Um, if you can main light of intervention instead of like if you feel like maining light of intervention instead of like mystic swordsman and stuff i don't know what to say like play this card like if you can play like a light of intervention don't need so many like uh monster flip killers and you have like big monsters and you just want to dig in uh play smashing ground especially if you're playing like crap like zalug or, or like um spirit reaper because you can just get rid of their monster and then like you know get that get, get that uh, discard effect in smashing ground is just it's just a really great card um three bottomless trap hole uh, the reason why is because uh, I don't like trying. <laughs> like so, against like reasoning gate decks, um, I will call six for Jinzo. <laughs> you know, they, they activate reasoning. Uh, call six for Jinzo. And whatever comes out, Demok, you, it gets banished. You don't care. Um, that's that's that's. I mean, the, the only better card against Reasoning Gate decks, um, in my opinion, is uh, Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell, or one of the only better cards um, that I know about is Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell, just because uh, you make it to where they can't activate another Reasoning or Monster Gate. You know, those are and it gets all you know all the copies from the deck. But I just play Bottomless uh, because it's simple and it also has a double use of being useful against um, uh, Skill Drain decks and uh, other beatdown decks like just 
anything they get out over 15, just bottomless, 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 uh, same with smashing. Um, you know, Kaiku, you can side against Chaos, you can side against Reasoning Gate, you can side against Kaiku against a lot of different decks. I'll also put in Kaiku against um, other beatdown decks just to have another 18. Like, I'll take out like Mystic Swordsman or whatever and put in another 18, just to have another 18 in the, you know, the beatdown mirror match and still win because I'm playing better cards. <clears throat> Anyways, um, a trap does shoot, okay? Um, so, this card I use against Reasoning Gate decks and snipe out the combo pieces. Um, use this against Chaos if you really want to like rape Chaos, okay? And you know you're going first. Play three of this, get the, get their Thunder Dragon out of their hand, get their BLS, BLS out of their hand, get their, I, I don't care, just get whatever you want out of their hand. You also get that hand knowledge because you see their hand, you know if they have Mirror Force or not, and you know if they have Torrential or not. Trap Dust Shoot, fantastic card. Um, I just don't I just don't main this anymore. I, I, there was a point in the past where I mained it, and that was when I was just playing really, really aggressive, but any long game that I got into, like, you hate this card. <laughs> you hate it. Especially, like, when I was, like, when I was playing maining this back in the day, it was in Beast Down, which forced the top decking war, and they would never have enough cards in hand for this to activate in the top decking war, so I was just, like, dead drawing this. So, um, I, uh, yeah, I dropped this card in the main a long time ago because late game it sucks. Um, early game though just it's 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 really good it's really good if you know you're going first yeah play all three of that and then um the last card on the side royal decree uh because i don't like losing to burn you can actually side a des wombat as well if you don't like burn because it's a monster you know what i mean like there's some good burn decks out there good burn players out there but a uh, decree gets them because they'll play like three drain or you know what i mean and all like secret barrel and just desserts you know and all those things uh, decree will get them um you play decree against any trap heavy deck um like I, I will play decree against um, any spirit deck that's trying to or anybody being cheeky playing like widespread ruin or any of that any deck that's playing in more traps than me but like doesn't have the like quite the power i do or whatever um i will take out my traps put in my decrees and my smashing grounds <laughs> like it's stuff like that it's it's pretty gross plus like I, I like to keep a jar in with with decree because you just activate jar draw cards and then activate decree it's chainable i like just chainable traps with decrees is, is a plus you want to side decree in any deck that you can in goats guys because um you don't want to lose the burn you, it's, just, it's just not a good time and uh, decree is the best card against burn and the best card against a lot of different decks and uh yeah that's that's the whole thing that is the whole thing um you know once again shout out to brady who's in here um who helped me help me test this a lot um i'm sorry if you guys think i'm crazy for cutting heavy storm and delinquent duo but i wanted more consistent cards there's like you guys will see why i cut duo the first time you activate duo pay a thousand life points and uh discard their light in their grave for them or you know or whatever like a delinquent duo does hurt because losing a card is inherently you know losing a card but uh i just look guys i would rather that delinquent duo be a guaranteed flip out or something than you know have a random guess at their hand especially like if, especially if i haven't seen serpent yet or anything and plus another thing is delinquent duo is terrible against night assailant and they are all maining night assailant now <laughs> night assailant is fantastic i mean i'm playing night assailant in my chaos deck and i'm also playing the tech i need to show you guys that people aren't playing in their chaos decks <laughs> but uh, anyways um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i have just been really trying to get creative and build a better beatdown deck using that uh, beast down strategy top deck war strategy but trying to use um more useful cards of uh, cards that will you know stand up better on their own and have a more you know multiple uses uh like i was saying multiple uses when it comes to blade knight being a flip killer but also being a big monster uh, multiple uses for mystic swordsman obviously getting rid of flips but being better against gravekeeper spy which more people are playing three of than blade knight because blade knight doesn't do anything against that card so double use plus this is like a chum blocker for you know sakuretsu armor stuff like that um knock is i mean it's just the best card in the format i mean all these cards have like multiple uses tw uh, uh Dust Tornado, like I was saying, pop a card and set a card, stay up and back row advantage. Players hate that, you know? Uh, Blind Little Goblin, though, is the MVP. Like, you just, I cannot say this enough. Set. If any other monster you would have to respond to a Snatch Steal with, right? Not this monster. Just get their shit. <laughs> It's so good. It's so good. Once again, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed this deck profile. Shout out to Jinzo and Tonic. I hope this is what you wanted. And last but not least, yeah, shout out to uh, James for having all the cool goat tournaments down there in Texas for me to go to.